Okay, before we close here, again, I would like to give you just a sense of how much actual wear there is on, on Debbie's front teeth. Not severe wear, but I would describe it, you know, a very significant amount of wear. And as you can see from the loss of, of the vertical dimension, she's probably lost in the, in the sense of probably two millimeters off the incisal ledges of the, of the central incisors and probably a good millimeter off the laterals. And again, there's been a significant flattening of the uh, points on the cusps, cusp tips of the, of the canines. And on the lower, not nearly as bad. We have a little wear. I don't even see where it's gone completely through the enamel on the lower. So fortunately, the majority of Debbie's wear and tear has occurred on her upper anterior teeth. So it's, been, it's kind of isolated. And that's where we're going to be doing those veneers. And if we look right directly in Debbie's mouth, just to again see that. And we'll do a follow-up on this just to give you a sense of what we actually did add. Okay, open them. Again here, and you can see that, that there's a, quite a bit of wear on those two central incisors, a moderate amount on the uh, lateral incisors. And really the cans are pretty good except for the very cusp tips. And what we're going to be doing is adding again approximately a millimeter, millimeter and a half of length to the central incisors, maybe a half a millimeter to the lateral incisors to make them aesthetically looking really nice. And then add just very, very little to the cusp tips of the canines to really uh, eliminate the, uh, the, the working interferences on those bicuspids. And that's what we're going to do. And I said, we'll see you back in about six weeks and we'll see how they're looking and feeling.